I grew up here. I made friends here. I came here, you know, to work, to learn more about my family's legacy. Um, uh, I learned my language here. This is home. The Punjabi market is the oldest, like, little India in North America. In 2008, after the global financial crisis, specifically with the Punjabi market, people were just looking for opportunities. So that's why you saw a lot of the commerce um, flee from here into, into, into Surrey. But in 2017, I lost my dad. And uh, after I lost my dad, uh, I did a lot of soul searching, thinking about him, I was grieving. You know, my dad was sick for a very long time. And um, I don't know, for some reason, I made this connection between watching him deteriorate and watching the market deteriorate. And uh, in my dad's case, I wasn't able to intervene, right? His story was written. Um, he passed away in 2017. But with the market, I had the option to intervene. I think that there wasn't a singular inspiration. I, I don't think that you could say that. Um, it was just a, it was a collection of experiences that sort of just led me in that direction. And I think I sort of stumbled into it, to be honest. It was just a collection of individuals who'd been talking, you know, for a few months about what the future of the market was. When I was thinking about, hey, what are we gonna do with the Punjabi market? I decided to go on Instagram. I uh, saw this like illustration of the street sign. Uh, it had like a pink and orange background and it was stylized in this like squiggly line. And uh, I thought it was really cool. So what I decided to do like at midnight was DM the person and be like, hey, I really like your artwork. Uh, that person was Jag Nagra. Uh, I joined in 2019. Um, I met Gulzar Nanda, who's our current chair. And he had introduced me to the idea of like helping revitalize and beautify Punjabi market um, because there hadn't been a lot of investment in the area in so long. So there was a group of volunteers that were coming together to work on this like neighborhood, right? So um, as soon as he started telling me about it, I got really excited and right away I was like, yes, I want to be involved. I think when we first started, um, there was a bit of a challenge because like there have been other community groups who've tried to revitalize the market. Um, politicians come around every year during election cycles, right, to try to, um, they come for photo ops sometimes, right? Uh, there's been lots of empty promises, there's been lots of broken promises, so there was a little bit of um, hesitation and um, like disbelief, I guess, in the work we were trying to do. But I think as we're making, I think the physical changes is what helps them see that we are doing something, right? For me, like it, it kind of um, pulls at my heartstrings because I remember, uh, like I grew up in Maple Ridge, which is about 45 minutes away from here. And we would come like once a year to do a big shopping day. We'd follow my parents, my aunts, like from shop to shop. We'd come here to Himalaya restaurant for lunch, Shole Pature, every time. And those memories have like been seared into my mind. And to be able to give back to this neighborhood, that meant so much to me. Um, and now coming here with my two young children who are two and four, and having them know what Punjabi market is and hopefully have them grow with it, I think that's so beautiful. When uh, at the, as I say, there was none of the Indian business, so the people coming from even Prince George, Kamloops, William Lake, when there was a long week in the holidays, they were doing to do the business in the Punjabi market. Having a store on the main street, you can brag about it, honestly. <laughs> and and like, having, like in the 90s when I opened this store, having a store, a big store like this, it was really great to have something on main street and in those days though, no, it, it was a very, very great thing to have something. In the Punjabi market, there was a Punjabi sign, a bilingual sign. In India, it was the first time in Vancouver, the Punjabi market sign was in Punjabi. I had lots of memories. I remember the first, the first parade when we saw there, 
more than 100,000 people walking by this street. Wow, it was packed. Like, you can't even walk around there. There were so many people. That, that was a, such a big community we have here. And that was a show of strength as well for the community, I guess. And we were very proud to be, you know, to be part of that uh, event. We celebrated the 25th of anniversary in 1995. At that time, the most of the shops were run by the Indo-Canadian community. I know at that time there are 400 Indo-Canadian community employees were working in the market and we doing about $70 million business. Uh, for the first 10, 12 years, it was just a you no know, solid up. And then it got steady for a little while. And then the Surrey came in existence. And then now the more people were going and living in Surrey because that was more affordable though. I think there's like this misconception that, hey, everybody from Vancouver, that's South Asian, moved to Surrey or they moved to Burnaby. But the census data doesn't show that. The census data shows that there have never been as many South Asians as there are now in all of the lower mainland. And that includes Vancouver. What we can do to, to help support those businesses is create what we call placemaking. So making a destination, making a place that people want to go and, and centering Punjabi market as, as a real locus for South Asian culture in the city of Vancouver. Yeah, we, we advocate for this neighborhood a lot. Um, we meet regularly with the city of Vancouver. Um, we have brought a lot of uh, public art initiatives here and we're kind of revitalizing it from an arts and culture based lens, right? Um, and trying to help these mom and pop shops that have been here, help them grow, help attract new businesses, um, new young entrepreneurs to come here and invest here. And, um, you know, the last thing we want is to, for it to get completely gentrified and, you know, forgotten and erased because so much of our history, that's what tends to happen, in, especially in Vancouver. So we want to hold on to the legacy here. And then looking at things like that we could immediately improve as a city, things like street furniture, adding, adding electrical sockets to lamp standards so we could do, you know, string up lights and stuff like that. And then there's more ambitious things like a, like a gate that's long been talked about over Main Street to actually kind of really signify uh, things like street beautification and murals and stuff. And we've seen the actualization of the murals. And then, and strategies to bring back some of those businesses. So when we talk about what people make living heritage, it's the shops. It's, it's the people who use those shops. It's the people who hang out and make the community. And it's, so it's, it's not just a bunch of old buildings. Uh, how many people have walked these streets and forged connections that are undying, you know? They, it, they to this day, uh, still endure. Uh, I think that that's uh, probably the legacy of this place, is that it brought us together from all over the Western seaboard of North America. I guess being able to provide like a home away from home for so many newcomers is really important. Long term, yeah, I want this to be like such a lively street, the way it was when I was a kid, right? Like you couldn't find parking when I was a kid and we'd come here. I want that kind of like liveliness here again. But I, all I can say that is stay positive and just help us out and you know, show us the way and we will follow you basically. And they are leading us very well though. Well, I think uh, the, the Guljar Nanda's organization is uh, doing their uh, best try to keep the market up. I think uh, it would survive. Yeah, it feels incredible. It's like, as a visual artist, I never thought I would be here. Like I was like making art, right? But to see um, the impact we're having, like I don't think I notice it or think about it day to day. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll come maybe in a few years when I look back and see like, here's what we accomplished. But I think every year, like I can look back at the changes we've made and the initiatives we've brought here. And I feel really proud of it, right? Like it's, it's really cool to be um, playing a part in Punjabi markets overall story and history. And like in 50 years, people will talk about the work we did. I think that's really, really cool. When South Asians first migrated here, um, they started off as laborers in factories, farms. What the Punjabi market really showed the Western world was that the South Asian person can be an entrepreneur. Their value isn't just in their hands, you know. And there was still a lot of racism, right? But 
seeing our community thrive here, people should have paused and been like, well, these South Asians, people that we might not think as our equals, they're doing really well. And I think that that's really the, the road through which we get to where we are now. We've left an undeniable mark on Canada, and I feel like it started almost here.